Hello and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. Thank you very much for tuning in. Yes, the audio on this video really does suck, but don't worry, it's completely deliberate because we are checking out this audio degradation suite called VHS, which is running in Reactor. It's really awesome. I think you're going to love it. It's a lot of fun. It sounds good, but in a bad way. No, that's the wrong way around. It sounds really bad, but in a good way. You know what I mean. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by you. Please visit my Patreon to add your name to this list of awesome people. Thank you so much for your support. This then obviously is a tape saturation plugin. It's called VHS, but I guess it can emulate any kind of tape saturation really. There's a lot of controls here. We'll go through some of those later on in the video. We can also try different presets as well. Let's do that to start with actually. And I've got four tracks I've imported into Reaper here. These are tracks I created on the JDXi and my DX7 a couple of years ago. I don't remember what I've imported right now. So let's just play some of these tracks and uh, see what this plugin sounds like. It is a, uh, let's see, I'm just gonna, there we go. We can switch it on and off with that button here. So when it's lit up, you know it's activated and when it's uh, not lit up you know um, you're just hearing the sound of the audio here so let's just play through one of these tracks without any effects to begin with okay this is a track called Euridium that I played on the JDXi so let's enable the plugin And listen for just how it adds, obviously, a little bit of noise and hum here in the background, but just a lot of warmth, a little bit of warm saturation and fatness and a bit of bottom end as well. Ro rolls off, I think, some of the trebles as well. At least that's what, that's what this particular preset is doing. Have another listen. Without. Fairly subtle with this preset, but let's try a few more. This one's called Raindrops. Raindrops. Can't see what it's called. Raindrops rolling down the window of your 32nd floor Tokyo condo. Great preset names. This one is using a mic emulation, which simulates the sound of using a microphone to record something like we used to do from the loudspeaker of your radio or from the TV. There's a variety of different microphones to choose from. Or well, we can switch that one off completely. Listen also out for the wow and flutter here, which is the low frequency oscillations, the pitch going up and down as the speed of the motors changes slightly, or the, I think it's the tape flutters past the playback head. Take a listen. This one's also been converted to mono with some saturation and chorus. Without the effect. With the effect, I really, I really dig this. Slightly more uh, better quality preset here. Without, with. Okay. I could show you whilst you're hearing all this buzz, noise and crackle, we can adjust that here. Let's wind everything down and I'll demonstrate what these controls do. Uh, so we can have the buzz coming in before the tape or after the tape. So if we have it before the tape, then any hum will be affected by the... You can hear the wow and flutter there as well, or we can have it afterwards and then it's not affected by the tape emulation. So we have a nice hum there, 50 hertz mains hum. We have another 50 hertz crackly hum, a third hum, good old hiss, some sort of 
random crackle effects and some yucky noise. We can put a bit of all those in. Put it before the tape. <laughs> or we can have it on both actually. Isn't it funny how manufacturers spent millions in the old analog days trying to reduce wow and flutter and noise which was an unwanted effect and now when we do everything digitally we have these plugins to put it back again isn't that ironic let's check out a few more presets i'll move to this second track now <laughs> This preset is called Song of the Ancient One. This is a song I made on the DX7 as well. <laughs> a huge amount of degradation. Home movies is nice. Really like this. So this is a pretty nice effect you could use on a synthwave track or any retro 80s, 70s, 90s track, I guess. Especially the 80s synthwave outrun genre. You could put this on during an intro or a bridge or something. Just don't overuse it, perhaps not use it for the entire track, but it's a really cool effect. 30 hours. Communications have been interrupted between Gamma 1 and UP headquarters. Rumors concerning the wild panic with that the outer space theory is correct. The United Democracies have reported you can hear how the tracking is off on the VCR. <laughs> when your mum doesn't know how to use the VHS. Listen to the glitches. Without. Another one with wow and flutter. Simpson wave, I don't get the reference. Okay, let's use this preset to explore some of the other settings. I'm just going to, yeah, we'll leave it like that. I'll go to a different track. This is one I made on the DX7 called the Malibu. Got a drive control. Tone. We won't go through them all today. These are controls for the compressor. Don't judge me too much on this. There isn't a manual for this product, so I was not able to read the manual really. Let's check out some of these warp controls. We have Flutter, and we've got two sets of Wow and Flutter. This is a cool feature, it actually emulates the sound you would get if you re-recorded a VHS cassette to another VHS cassette and then played it back. That's why we have two sets of Wow and Flutters. Take those off, and then you can hear the Wow coming in here. You can have together with a bit of warp. <laughs> okay. High cut. Low cut down here. We have a nice saturation effect, which I'm not able to get a sound of right now. A bit of a fail. Where is that one coming from? Okay, it works in conjunction with the compressor. We have a nice chorus, actually. That's <laughs> just nuts. 
and then I can even switch it to mono, which would simulate which would simulate the kind of old cassette players and recorders that I used to use. It was just the sort of little rectangular where you put the cassette in at the top with just a mono speaker. I used to listen to all my music on one of those for many years, often under the bed covers when I was supposed to be asleep. So there we go. Let's check out a couple more presets. Now we've really destroyed that particular setting. Uh, I'll move on to the next song. I'll flick through a few more presets and then I will close out the video with a really crazy nuts preset called Remember to Rewind or something. So here's another synthwave styled track I made on the JDXI. This one is called Star Rider. B movie, your uncle. Where is it? movie your uncle starred in that one time. Alone again. There we go. <laughs> I guess they are referring to the old days when you'd rent a video from the store and you'd have to rewind it before you return it, I'm guessing. Be kind, rewind. <laughs> so that just goes to show how far you can push this. I think we should give some credit now to the author of this rather fabulous plugin. Whew, okay, quite a relief to get rid of all that buzz, noise, hum and hiss. It's a nice novelty thing, but don't overuse it. So this is the VHS Audio Degradation Suite, VHS Tape Noise and Flutter Simulator, but I guess it would simulate just as well other types of tapes as well, like your little compact cassette tapes. And we can see the author is James Peck, updated three months ago, file size 88 megabytes. No, it's smaller than that. There we go, it's more like 35K, incredibly small, but you will need to run this in Reactor 6 and the full version as well, unfortunately. Let's just see, as it says there, actually, will not work with Reactor Player 6. An audio multi-effect combining saturation, pitch modulation, and noise to emulate the imperfections of VHS tape. You can see the signal flow here on the screen. There's chorus, mic emulations that we talked about. There's a preamp that we played around with, with the tone control and the drive. The slew limiter, simulating wear. We've got a compressor, two band saturator, low pass filter, wow and flutter controls. Twice. Uh, a slightly different wow flutter, as if a tape were re-recorded. There you go. Output and notes. So there you go. Respect and cred to James Peck. Thank you very much for this awesome plugin that I know is extremely popular amongst uh, Reactor users. So that's what I had for you today. Thanks ever so much for watching this little video. Thank you very much to my channel sponsors. Thank you for liking, subscribing, watching, commenting. I'll see you again soon. Cheerio. Cheerio.